Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to go from an elevation raster, which could be DTED or SRTM, uh, terrain model or a surface model, whatever, to a 3D model that you could use for 3D printing or you could use it for editing in 3D software like Maya or Blender or, um, or SketchUp. So what you could do with this is you could go and take a bit of real world terrain and you could put it in say a game or you could use it to visualize um, land for a house that you might want to build or really whatever. Um, once you get it into a common 3D file format you can do really whatever you like with it. I'm going to do this all with 100% open source tools. Uh, as you can see I'm on Linux. I'm on um, Ubuntu 2104 and we're going to use QGIS to process our elevation raster. And then we'll use Blender to validate and convert the results into some sort of broadly usable format. So the first thing we do is, well, obviously you have to have QGIS installed. And there's, there's about a billion videos showing how to get up and running with QGIS. So if you need help on that, just search around and then you can come back. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is install a couple of plugins. The first plugin we're going to install is called QGIS to 3.js. And then the second one is called HCMGIS. And so those two plugins we're going to install, we're going to go to uh, the plugins menu item here and then to manage and install plugins. And when this comes up, you just go to all. And we're going to use a search bar to basically search for those two uh, plugins. So the first one, again, QGIS to 3. We'll just go QGIS to, and as you type, it'll start showing up. I've got both these plugins already installed, so this is just kind of showing you where to find them. So you go to QGIS 3, and then down at the bottom, there will be an install plugin button if, it, if it's not installed on your machine, and you just use that. And then when you're done installing that, you just go to HCM and HCM GIS uh, will come up. QGIS to 3 will basically put our, um, our raster into uh, 3D format and HCM GIS uh, is not really required, but it's sort of a Swiss Army knife base map plugin and it'll give us the ability to put some some imagery over top of our model so that it's it looks all textured and and all nice. So anyway, when those are all done installing, you can just click close. Okay, now we're going to load up our terrain. Uh, again, this assumes that you've got access to some sort of terrain. Uh, I've just got a chunk of terrain that uh, falls over New England in the United States. And I'm going to just drag it over here into the main viewer. And there's my terrain. And so now we're going to zoom in on an area that we might want to clip out as a model. So I'm just going to kind of zoom into this feature right here. And I'll just, I'll just leave it about there. That looks good. And then now we're going to use the HCM GIS plugin to load up some imagery over top of this dem. And then that'll be clipped out and used as a texture for the model. So we go to HCM, base map, and I'm just going to use uh, Esri imagery. And as you can see, it all aligns nicely there. So this is going to be our 3D scene. So when we're happy with this, we just click the QGIS to 3JS button in the toolbar, which will bring up the 3D window. And that's found right here, this little uh, tent, green tent looking thing. So once we're in here, we basically just go to our dem that's or our surface uh, model that's that's over here in the in the layers, and we turn it on, and there we go, and we have a 3D view of our area. And most of the um, the zoom, typical zoom uh, and manipulation options from other programs apply here in terms of how you're going to use your mouse to orbit and kind of manipulate the model. 
This looks pretty good, we're, but we're going to do a couple things just to clean it up a little bit and make it look just a tiny bit better. We're going to right click on the, the dem in the layer here and we're going to select properties. And we're going to turn the resampling level up and I'm just going to turn it up all the way. And then we're going to scroll down to where it says other options and we're going to turn off this uh, part that says build sides. This is all preference based. You can leave the sides on if you want. I generally don't like them so I'm going to turn them off. We're going to hit apply. And now it's been now it's been resampled uh, to a little bit higher quality. And there's our model that we're going to export. And we're going to export this as a GLTF binary. Uh, GLTF is a newer standard introduced by the Kronos group and they're the same group behind um, Collada. And it's meant to be just as compatible as Collada, but uh, it fixes a lot of inherent problems, really performance problems, um, with Collada being a plain text. Um, GLTF is a binary format, loads a little bit faster. Um, so we're going to save this out. And what's as a GLTF, and what's great is that Blender uh, already supports GLTF. So we're just going to go up here to File and we're going to go to Save Scene As and we're going to select GLTF. Now I don't know about Windows but at least on Linux we're going to have to add, we're going to have to manually add the um, the file extension when we save it out. So I'm going to save this in my QGIS folder and I'm just going to call it, actually first down here at the bottom right, I'm going to select binary GLTF file. And then I'm just going to give it a name. We'll call it um, test terrain. And I'm going to give it an extension of GLB, GLB, just like that. Hit save. And as you can see, it's it's really quick. It just exported it that quickly. So now I'm going to minimize this, get out of this, and we'll minimize QGIS. And now I'm going to bring up Blender and have an empty scene. So to bring in that file, you just go to File, Import, and I'm going to go down to GLTF 2.0. And then I'm going to browse to my QGIS folder. There's my um, GLB that I just exported. And I'm going to hit import. There, very quick, lickety split. And if you're wondering where the texture went, the texture is still there. It's just that by default, uh, Blender doesn't actually show you the texture in the um, in the layout window. If you want to show the texture, you can just go up here to where um, it says um, viewport shading. You can turn it on and bam, there you go. And you've got your texture. And um, as you can see, it paints both sides of the model. So I don't know, that could be important if you're actually going to export this and eventually use it in um, some tool that cares about that, like, like SketchUp. So to export this, if you want to export this to a Collada um, for use in another in another program, you just go File, Export, Collada, put it in here, and we'll just call it uh, we'll call it Test Terrain again. Dot DAE. Export the Collada file. and exported four objects there, all done. And that's it. All right, well, that's all I got.